According to ALZ.org, more than 5 million Americans are diagnosed with Alzheimer's, and there are more than 15 million caregivers across the country that take care of them. As National Alzheimer's Awareness Month comes to an end, we thought we would share a special bond between one patient and her caregiver. We are, we're only two years apart in age. No. So we're like, we're like twins. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a lot of fun too. We do. <laughs> We've known her for a long time, but we really started getting a lot of fun. We do have uh -huh. fun. She blesses uh -huh. my life <laughs> on many levels. It's never too late in your life to have heroes. That's right. You know, and um, she's one of mine. And there are so many that walk in this community. I'm Pat Kraft, and, and I have Alzheimer's. She never complains. She has an amazing sense of humor. And she always sees the good in everyone. And she was a wife and a mother and a volunteer in life with a servant's heart. And I see that in her every day. Were you forgetting things or tell me something? Actually, I wasn't at the beginning. I thought I was in wor the world, so it didn't matter. But after a while, I did. It kind of got to me, and I needed somebody else to tell me what to do. Pat loves to dance. We dance. We have happy hour every Friday. That's you, big happy time. Hour too? Happy oh. hour. We're not so. We'll go anywhere. That's right. We do it all. So um, it's really about giving them a new season of their life. It's a word, the way we say cancer and how it affects families. Uh -huh. That's the way Alzheimer's is today. There are very few families today that are not touched in some way uh -huh. by this word we call Alzheimer's. Exactly. And so um, we do need to learn about it, but more importantly we need to understand it. Um, because it doesn't mean that they need that if somebody's afflicted with this that they need to go and lock themselves up because it's not that way. The mind is an amazing thing and uh, they're still there.